Hey guys, this is Adam, aka Smooth Sailing. Um, technically, this is going to be my first ever video for uh, YouTube and this channel. And actually, it's my going, probably going to be my first uh, Tivana video. Um, I actually, I, everything's on here on the counter because I actually just got done recording um, my reviews for all of these teas. So if you want, to go watch that, I will put up a separate video and a, and a link to the um, to all the other goodness of the teas. And um, for right now, as my first video, I'm going to make this uh, short and sweet. And I'm just going to tell you just a little bit what I like. And um, show you a couple tea, tea where I have and just tell you why I just love Tivana. So... First things first, uh, I got this cast iron Japanese teapot as a birthday gift, and it's called the Imperial Dragon. Um, it's the 20 ounce smaller version of the the original, and it is um, it's very nice. Right now, I have I you just put green tea and some white teas in there, mostly green. Um, I only have one white tea right now, actually two. Um, but I put I put about just about green tea in there, and I think it's small enough that it heats up really well, nicely. And um, I definitely am going to make the time to invest in other uh, cast iron teapots for my other different types of tea. Um, I have this tea tumbler. Um, actually, I'll probably show you all how I use it in another video. Um, but it's a very nice tumbler, and I love it, and yeah. Um, what I did want to show you, that one was just in the way. It's my, uh, Tivana Perfect Tea Maker. It, um, this one is actually very, very affordable, and it's, it was probably the best investment I made all year of 2012. <laughs> um, I love this thing. I've only used it for about, probably eight months now, and it is not even near um, being like looking like it's been used a lot. Right now, uh, there's a um, that's the after the infusion of the blueberry pineapple cone pop uh, blend, which was in here. This one, but I'm I'm out. Um, but I used the rest of it, and I have it in this this big cup right here. So. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Um, let's see. Like I said, I'm gonna make this a shorter version of the long one, and that one's really long, so I'm warning you. <laughs> um, okay. So my all my favorite tea right now from Tivana over everything is in this one, and unfortunately, it's empty. <laughs> I love their new Global Treasures Spice Mandarin Oolong Tea. It has dark oolong tea and cinnamon and mandarin oranges, blood oranges, tangerine natural flavoring, cinnamon and cardamom and ginger and all the goodness. Like, um, let me read you the, the thing. It Yeah, it has... Like I said, it has... Here, you can stare at Yoshi for a second. <laughs> I'm looking at my computer. It says it has uh, dark oolong, cinnamon, hibiscus flowers, apple bits, carrot bits, ginger, uh, tangerine flavoring, orange flavoring, blood orange flavoring, lemon and vanilla, citrus slices, orange juice bits, pepper, tangerine pieces, tangerine and cane sugar from... and citric acid. Um, whatever. Ginger slices, candy, tangerine bits, um, sugar, tangerine, uh, cardamom, star anise, and cloves, and finally allspice. Whew, that was a mouthful. That one is like my favorite. I love it. It's so good, and it smells so wonderful. And actually, um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> I got that tea. Um, when my mom was in the hospital uh, in the ICU, and I wanted to pick out a tea uh, one day as my comfort tea, you could say, and I picked that one, 
and I was just in love with it. My mom is fine right now. She's doing great. And, um, but that tea just reminds me of when the fall started and when it was really, really windy and it was just, it, it just gave me like a bit of, it just brings back a little bit of memory of insight of how things were turning around for our home and stuff. So I really love this tea. Oh. And here, I used to have my sweet Ulan revolution. May it forever rest in peace. But anyhow, I, um, I had to pick over a new one after I ran out. And I put my gingerbread ginger coconut rooibos tea in this one. And it, it's pronounced rooibos. Like R-O-Y uh, bos. Like, like a, like O as in boat, but O's. So rooibos. So the I is actually um, silent. This is cocoa caramel sea salt. It's an herbal tea. This one is divine, y'all. Um, just show you a little bit of it. It's so good. Um, but I'm not really going to open any of these others because I'm going to talk too much. Uh, Dozen Dragon Phoenix Pearls. I'm actually going to... I only have a little bit left. And when I do get some, I'm going to get the, the cherry bark... The cherry wood bark canis, tea canister. And that one holds like... I think like four ounces or something, or maybe it was three. I forgot. But I'm gonna put my 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 jasmine uh, pearls in that because I just love it so much. It's another favorite. Uh, Seven berry sangria. I'm not crazy about that one so much anymore. Fruta bomba, which is actually growing on me right now. Maharaja chai. I love that one. That's always gonna be in my cupboard. Uh, Davavana mate. This is for my you know my partner in crime. <laughs> um, I got that for for Christmas as a gift um, to my loved one. This is Roybos Tropica, uh, one of the, another classics, which I'm almost out of, and when I am, I'm done with it. <laughs> Watermelon Mint Chiller in this one. Samurai Chai Mate. That one over there is Blueberry um, Pineapple Kona Pop Blend. This is another favorite. Wonderberry chocolate truffle. Um, I'm sorry, but I hate this one. It's apple, lemon, pomegranate. I think I'm just going to give it away because it is not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to you about it, but it smells like cardboard. It, it really does. It smells like you're walking into a UPS warehouse or something. Oh, this one is toasted nut brulee. Another one I'm not crazy about. Um, so I think I'm just going to give those two away. Uh, Crimin Calypso Mate. This one is super yummy, and I like to blend it with a Yokoro Imperial uh, Green Tea, and it makes an excellent energy tea blend. I have uh, Strawberry Slender Pu'er in this one. I have uh, Young Golden Pu'er in this one. I have about a half pound of this, and I love this one. This is the most straight black tea you can go. This is the most straightest, the most pure of the black and it's so earthy and I love it and it's it's really aged and I can get like gosh several steeps out of just one teaspoon. That one's extremely good for you and these two are specifically for weight loss and metabolism build up as well as um, several other things but mainly those two are the biggest I have a uh, pineapple kawaii blooming tea in this one. It's actually not my favorite blooming tea. It's it's too subtle for me, especially after drinking a lot of blueberry based pineapple kona pop. That one is definitely not pineapple-y at all. You have to like drench it in rock sugar in order to like really sweeten it. But it's good and it's so healthy for you. But I would I'd rather stick to the peach mama taro. Um, this is the Sacral uh green tea. I love this one. They up they just upgraded it, and there's whole cherries in there now. They took the bamboo out, but the whole cherries are super yummy, and I I love drinking that. That definitely kicks my cherry coke habit. And this one is uh, cocoa mint black or cacao, but I don't say cacao. <laughs> um, I absolutely love, 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 love 
mint chocolate chip ice cream and this definitely takes over that and oh I love drinking that for dessert and, and everything last but definitely not least is the Jokuro Imperial Green Tea I got a pound of this a pound of the blooming tea a pound apple and pomegranate, a pound of cream and calypso mate, and a pound sour chai mate, and a pound of the blueberry bliss uh, at a $350, no, um, a three, almost $400 value. It, it was like 378 or something dollar value at 130 bucks. Yeah, 130. <laughs> I definitely took advantage of that heavenly tea sale that they had. Um, so but yeah, well, making the 10 minute video was definitely did not take as long. <laughs> um, well, I hope you all enjoyed my tea collection. I will definitely make more videos about uh tea and uh I just love Tivana so much and their tea and I love it all. And um, I will make uh, some videos in the future regarding to teas that I think are um, pretty good and for the seasons. Um, like I'll make like a winter, my winter tea collection and, you know, and then upcoming for the spring and then some and then some. Um, and I'll also tell you a couple of my personal blends. And I'll show you my one of my favorite blends um, in some future videos. And I also need to show you the rest of my teaware. Um, so, well, other than that, thank you all for watching. And um, I'll definitely keep you all updated. I hope you all enjoyed everything. And uh, we'll have a good one. Bye.